Hello, my dear friend. Welcome one more time to another Bible study here from Odessa, Texas. I am Jeanne, the founding pastor of Victory Church, and I say hello to you. Thank you for joining us this evening. We are studying the letter of the Apostle Paul to the Romans. Tonight, we are going to read another beautiful passage. And uh, this is one of the many episodes that we have shared and uh, we would like to invite you to go to the website vchurch.us. There you can connect with the Facebook page, the Vimeo channel, the YouTube cha channel, and uh, the podcast. If you want to catch up with the previous episodes, that will be great. And uh, if not, well, here we are today. We are going to read the letter uh, of the Apostle Paul to the Romans, chapter 11, from the verse 33 through 36 and we read in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit the lord guide us through this study yes god's riches are very great his wisdom and knowledge have no end no one can explain what god decides no one can understand his ways as the scriptures say who can know what is on the lord's mind who is able to give him advice? Who has ever given God anything? God owes nothing to anyone. Yes, God made all things and everything continues through him and for him to God be the glory forever. Amen. So we see that finally this argument about the Jews and the Gentiles is coming to an end. And, uh, well, if you are interested in learning more, I invite you earlier, go to the previous episodes. But here's where Paul concludes with this wonderful declaration. The Lord's riches are great. And he knows the reasons why, and nobody can tell them why or otherwise. He, he says, actually, this is very, very important that I want to repeat no one can explain what God decides. That, that is powerful, my friend. Because it's, it's one of the questions that we all have all the time. Why? Why? Why this is happening? I don't like it. I would much prefer that things will be this other way. But we cannot understand what the Lord decides. And you will never understand the reasons why he allows certain things. All that we know is that he has a plan. Paul actually says something very interesting. He says, who can know what is on the Lord's mind? You know, whatever God and his holy throne is thinking about the future, about your life, about how things are going to to develop in your life. He is thinking about all those things for you. And you will never be able to understand that. You will never be able to understand that. It's because He is the Lord God, the Creator, the Master of the universe. And you are only His creation. You have the opportunity to become a child of God. You have the opportunity to establish a relationship, a personal relationship with the good Lord God Almighty through the sacrificial death of our Lord Jesus Christ and the faith that will come to you through the preaching of God's word. You might be able to do that. And when you develop that relationship, the is where when the beginning of this beautiful process in life to get to know the Lord begins. It's just a process and is not going to stop ever because there are so many things about the Lord that we just don't know. He says, uh, verse 36, Yes, God made all things and everything continues through Him and for Him. Everything. So, you are concerned about 
many things in your life and you work and you handle your money, you held your resources the best possible way. If you are a believer, you try to please the Lord through faith to begin with, through your actions, your commitment to Him, to the local church, and you, and you do good, right? But the thing is, you don't know what is going to happen. And surprises can come to you. But when we understand that the Lord God is the King of the universe and everything is through Him and everything is going to continue being through Him and for Him, you will accept God's will, the Lord's will, no matter what. And that is a huge challenge for everybody. It's a huge challenge. It begins with accepting His will right now, whatever is happening in your life. I don't know if you at this point are upset with something, you are disappointed for something that just happened to you, or perhaps you are concerned. Maybe you are sad. Maybe you are devastated. I really don't know. But I know one thing. That this process of getting to know the Lord and finally understanding that everything is through Him and for Him begins in one place. It, it is when you accept His will in your life. How hard is that, right? And I know that you... You have tried before, and perhaps you succeeded at some point, but perhaps you have failed also at another point, because it's a constant, constant battle that we all have. Perhaps now, while you are going through this new challenge in your life, you are thinking, but I already gave up. I already gave to the Lord everything that I am, everything I got. My whole heart belongs to Him. Why is it then that I have to go through all these things now? Because everything goes through Him and for Him. You know, th this idea that we have that in the Lord God, everything is going to be so beautiful and without tribulations, it's an idea that not necessarily is what is going to happen in our lives. Do you know where everything is going to be perfect? In heaven. There, in the very presence of God, in that supernatural place that already exists, where many believers already are, and they are enjoying this super extraordinary joy by being in the presence of the good Lord. That place that for us is known as the afterlife somehow. The glorious heaven of God. There, there is no sadness, no sorrow, no pain, no suffering. None of those things. No more tears. There is the perfection, my friend. But we keep thinking, right? If I do this and that and this and that, obviously I'm going to have a great life and everything is going to be so beautiful to me. Well, quite often we experience in life that things are not exactly as we thought they will be. But for the true believer, the one that lives constantly surrendering to the good Lord in an everyday battle that we have, Things are different. Because if you are the kind of believer that accept His will, God's will, one day, but the next day you are in disagreement with what the Lord is allowing in your life, and then the next day you again agree, and, and on and on, you continue going in that constant fight, it's going to be harder for you. Because you know what he says? He says, no one can understand his ways. Verse 33. 
No one can understand his ways. It is impossible for us. He has a reason. He has always a plan. The plan is always to bless us. Now you probably think, I don't see how can be a blessing through this new problem that I have now, through this new challenge that I have now. And the thing is, all those things are just opportunities that you have to show your faith in Him, to show Him that you trust Him, that no matter what is happening in your life, even if, if that is, a, is a, a very difficult challenge, perhaps for some it could be a matter of death and life. For other people it could be a matter simply of extreme pain in their bodies. For other people it's a matter of being evicted because they don't have the money to pay for rent. Even in, in the most crucial circumstances on, of a feeling of abandonment and uh, being so hurting and in pain, even then he keeps being God. Because as he says, he made all things and everything continues through him and for him. To God be the glory forever. Amen. Is how Paul ends this part, this section of chapter 11. It is your job, my friend, to surrender to the Lord. Don't fight. You will never understand his reasons. You will never understand his mind. You are the creation. He is the creator. You are the servant. He is the king. You are the child. He is the father. Don't argue with them. Accept his will. Surrender again. And simply say, well, to God be the glory. Forever and ever. Amen. Although it seems for some people an impossibility to be happy and content in the presence of God while they are going through tribulations, it is doable. It's possible. We just need to go through the process again and again and again. It's not going to stop. The challenges and the difficulties are not going to stop ever. But what we can change is the way of handling things. How? By accepting God's will in everything, trusting Him that He has a solution. And then we say, to God be the glory forever and ever. See you next week, my friend. Don't give up. Don't give up. Hey, 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 hey. That's all, that's all, that's all, folks. <laughs> Time to go home. <laughs> Ciao.